Hello, welcome to this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot with myself, Jasper Lawler. Uh, we're going to look at oil markets just because they have been breaking out higher recently. Particularly, we're looking at WTI and it's just reached $58 per barrel. And not coincidentally, the, the US dollar is breaking down and we've seen one of the slowest builds in US inventories, uh, oil inventories, that we've seen in, in, in several months. Now, when it comes to oil markets, we've discussed this a few times. Really, these are the drivers that we're looking at. Um, the Middle East has impacts from now and then, and obviously there's been some tensions over there, and that will, that will drive short-term prices. But really, Saudi Arabia, the, the major oil producer in the, in the uh, Middle East, has held pretty firm, producing oil at a pretty consistent rate. So that's not really been a variable. What has been a variable and what can change is U.S. oil production. Now, oil prices have been basing out for the last couple of months even as U.S. oil inventories data has been increasing. But obviously, markets are looking ahead three to six months. And now, as markets have based, uh, oil inventories have began to slow. And now, as of last week, uh, we just saw 1.9 million barrels added to U.S. crude stocks. Now, that's still the 15th consecutive week of gains, uh, some of the largest seen on record. Uh, but it does just get us closer to zero. And, and that much closer to, to possibly going negative. And, and that has corresponded with oil prices breaking out. And when we look at the chart in a minute, you'll see that we're, we're pretty much in uptrend territory. It is worth mentioning that the US dollar did fall generally across the board on weaker GDP data. So we've seen corresponding breakouts in the euro, the British pound, even gold and silver looking like possible breakouts. So this is not a, an oil unique move. It's very much correlated to the US dollar. And so that's why we have to be cautious. Obviously, inventories have not actually started dropping yet. Production has not actually slowed yet in the US. And so there's still risk of a recovery. And that's why we're going to look at both uh, daily and weekly charts. Now, in front of us, we have the daily candlestick chart for West Texas crude oil. Now, this is a pattern that we've been talking about for a few weeks now, and it's just about reached its objective. So this was a falling wedge pattern. The objective was about $58.50. We, we've hit above $58. So we're almost there within a few, uh, within a few cents of hitting the objective of this pattern based off of the, the height being projected from the, the breakout area. Now, there's a few things to consider here. Now, you can see according to these moving averages, both the 21 and 55 day moving average, we're in uptrend territory now. Um, we've broken the highs that we saw in, in March, and so we're making higher highs, higher lows. Now, what we have to look at is if we do flip over to the, the weekly chart, we can see that, yes, we've seen a, a strong surge in prices, but still, a big decline in oil prices, and we're still generally in the context of a, a downward move in oil prices. So we have to be a bit cautious here. We've moved above the 21-week SMA, which is significant, but we're still significantly below the 55-week. And so there is room for oil prices to turn lower. And one consideration is that right now, just in around current levels, we're at some of the highest level, uh, we're at matching some of the peaks that we saw in December last year, and that corresponds with a 23.6% Fibonacci retracement of this whole decline in oil prices. So this is an important level. It's this objective from this pattern. You know, it's these previous highs. It's, it's the 23.6. So room for a correction from here. Should we get through it, then logically the next step would be the 38.2% retracement, and that's around $67 per barrel. So that's it for this week's CMC Markets Commodity Snapshot. We were looking at West Texas crude oil. Now, uh, we've had a big surge high, we've broken high, we look like we're into an uptrend, but there's, there's a few barriers ahead. We're possibly into correction uh, zone where we could see a correction. So let's see if that follows us through right down to those lows at 42, or if we can make a, a higher low and push higher in towards perhaps even this $67 per barrel.